Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, April 29th. I'm Josiah Bohr. And I'm Efsa Balwajabi, and here's what's going on at BHS. In honor of Teacher Appreciation Week next week, BHS TV wants to give you the chance to shout out some of your favorite teachers. Just look for our BHS TV cam during lunch and let us know which teachers you appreciate and why. And we might use your clip next week. You can also give some shout outs on social media. Just follow brownsblog.tv on Instagram and check out our stories for a chance to reply with what teachers you appreciate. Teacher Appreciation Week is May 2nd through May 6th. Prom court voting is open, but it ends today. Voting is for juniors and seniors only. And there's a link posted on the BHS Class of 2023 Instagram page. You can also scan the QR code on the screen or the ones hung in the Senior Academy. BHS Robotics Team 3176 will be hosting a dine to donate next Wednesday, May 4th at Noble Romance. Just head there between 5 to 9 p.m. and let them know you're there to support BHS Robotics and 15% of the proceeds will be donated to the team. If the total gets to $500, then 20% of the proceeds will be donated after that. Team 3176 will then be using the money raised to add to their Relay for Life donation total. So plan to add to Noble Romance on Wednesday, May 4th. Prom 2022, a Midsummer's Garden is on Saturday, May 7th at the Indiana Roof Ballroom. Ticket sales for juniors will begin on Monday, May 2nd in the main building during all lunches. For any Area 31 students who will be leaving before lunch, ticket sales will be in Mrs. Sablehouse's room. Team 2022, BHS TV wants to help celebrate your future plan in this year's Bye Bye Bulldogs video. Today is the last day BHS TV we have a camera set up to record a 10 second clip of seniors announcing their plans. Cue cards will be provided and it will be easy to participate. The video will be edited together and shared with the senior as a memento for your class. All seniors have to do is wear their plan and listen for the announcement with instructions at the beginning of your lunch. The philosophy group's next meeting will be on Tuesday, May 3rd, after school. They will be meeting in Mr. Salone's room, B1409, and will be discussing human rights. Please see Mr. Salone for more information. The Students Seeking Success group will have their first meeting next Wednesday, May 4th, before school at 7.10 a.m. That meeting will take place in Ms. Cook's room, A2309. Please see Ms. Cook for more information. So apparently today is Arbor Day. Yeah, I heard Ben was doing something for that. Now well, let's check in on him to see what's going on. Thanks guys. Arbor Day is actually a day in which people come together and plant trees for the sake of the environment. It is actually celebrated on the last Friday of April, which happens to be today. So in honor of this day, I thought, hey, what if I went out and planted a tree? Coincidentally, my parents were actually looking for a tree to plant in our backyard. So with that, I saw the silver lining and I set off. So the best place I thought to go to was Lowe's. I did some browsing and I found a tree that I could actually afford. Once I got home, I immediately got to work. So what I'm planning on doing is planting a tree right up that, where that lamp is right there, or just about. So this should be relatively easy as the pot's not that big, but I will see how this goes. I made sure the hole was dug with proper dimensions and no other roots were in the way. Luckily, it was a pretty nice day outside, so things were absolutely perfect for a yard work like this. After the day's work, the tree isn't the most beautiful thing in the world, but the real beauty is in the spirit of Arbor Day and the notion behind it community coming together to help the environment. I hope some watching this will participate next year. Ben Walsh, BHS TV. Thanks Ben, I never actually paid attention to Abu Day. Well clearly he did. Now it's time for sport. Hey Molly, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we've had a lot more contests this week with a busy weekend ahead as well. Let's start things off with the baseball team who took on Avon a couple times this week. Last night, the Dogs hosted Avon and earned an 11-3 victory. A big second inning put the Dogs in the lead, and they would keep it the rest of the night. Wyatt Claude Felter led the Dogs going 2-for-3 with two RBIs and scoring two runs. Keenan LeBlanc also went 2-for-3 with two RBIs and scoring two runs. Jackson Fott added two runs in an RBI on the night. Alec Murphy got the win and came in for a relief on the mound, pitching five and a third innings and only allowed one run. Nice job, guys. On Wednesday night, the Dogs were at Avon and won 8-5. Ben Baylor led the team going 2-4 for four with two runs. Mason Grant was 2-2 two two with a double, and Jackson Fott had two RBIs. Mason Tibbs was the winning pitcher. The guys are set for a doubleheader with Decatur Central and Greenfield Central tomorrow. 
On Wednesday, the JV and freshman teams took on Avon. The JV team won 5-4 and were led by P.J. Fry, who had a double, and Lincoln Whitehead, who helped seal the victory on defense. Drew Jennings was the winning pitcher, and Bryce Johnson earned the save. The freshmen won 7-4 and were led by Jackson Kerr, who struck out eight batters. Connor Hickey continued his hot streak, hitting a three-run home run. The softball teams have also had a very busy week with multiple contests. Last night, the varsity took on Ben Davis and fell just one run short, 7-6. Lexi Gordon had a great night going 4-for-4 four four with a double and three RBI. Kelsey Andrus also had a double and scored two runs. The varsity is set to take on McCutcheon tonight. Good luck. The JV Purple team came up just short of Zionsville on Wednesday, but Sienna Bradley had a great night going 4-for-4 four four with a double and two steals. Katie Cook pitched a complete game and struck out seven. Last night, both JV teams took on Ben Davis. The Purple team won 16-0 and were led by Sydney Fox, who were 3-for-3 three three with two doubles and two RBI. Kira Fetz was 2-for-2 two two with a triple and two RBI. Tinsley Schatz was also 2-for-2 two two and scored two runs, and Hannah Vernick threw a complete game no-hitter and struck out 13. Nice job. They will take on North Central on Monday. The JV White team also won big, 19-0. Braylon Couch threw a no-hitter and struck out 11. Ainsley Fott went 3-for-3 three three and had four RBI. They are scheduled to take on McCutcheon tonight. Good luck. The girls' tennis team was back on the court last night when they traveled to Zionsville. The Dogs had a tough night, but the number one doubles team of Evelyn Kogel and Shelby Allen played a hard-fought match. The number two doubles team of Emma Jones and Aubrey Wagner also played with great energy. The team is back on the court next Tuesday versus Hamilton Southeastern. The unified track and field team hosted Avon last night. Madeline Kaufman had an outstanding performance with new PRs in both the 100 and long jump. Walker Fruits had a PR in the shot put, and Michael Wehe had a PR in the 100. Beckett Forner also had an outstanding performance in the 400. The team is scheduled to take on Fishers and Zionsville next. Good luck. And the boys club lacrosse team defeated Bishop Chittard on Wednesday 13-7. Jack Bush and Connor Bennett had three goals each. Spencer Howard and Austin Herring had their first varsity goals. They are scheduled to take on Marion tomorrow. The girls club lacrosse team defeated Ron Colley on Thursday 19-4. Lila Jones scored seven goals and had two assists. Delaney Colas had four goals and four draw controls. Maggie Kinman had a goal and three assists. Karina Kermines had five ground balls and caused four turnovers. And Anaya Jones had 11 saves. They are scheduled to take on top-ranked Heritage Christian next week. And good luck to everyone in action this weekend. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Molly. Now let's check in with Luke for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hey, guys. We're going to continue to see some decent temperatures this weekend, but we will also see a lot of clouds. Today will be cloudy throughout the day with a high of 70 and a low of 53. There's a 15% chance of rain and up to 20 mile per hour winds. Saturday, we'll have a high of 77 and a low of 57 with clouds in the morning and scattered thunderstorms, developing later in the day and into the evening. Sunday, the high is around 70 with a low of 46. We should have mostly sunny skies, but the wind will be an issue at 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts possible. Enjoy your weekend as we enter into May. Back over to you. Thanks, Luke. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday.